So once we have received the order to launch and we've decoded the message and we understand that it's a valid message and we've authenticated that, then we essentially have permission to turn keys when launch time occurs. So normally it takes two keys uh, to launch the missile, a key over there and a key right here. Those two keys are far enough apart that one person can't reach them both. Furthermore, the keys must be turned within two seconds of each other and held for five seconds before the launch can begin. That guarantees that two people would be required to do the operation. Uh, but I can do it with one key, uh, just for a demonstration purpose here. So from key turn, we wait a few seconds, and the first indicator we get is launch enable. This indicator should effectively say, welcome to World War III, because that's pretty much what it boils down to. Batteries activated means that two batteries on the missile are charging up. Those will, uh, will supply power for the missile while it's in flight. It takes 28 seconds to charge the batteries. When the batteries come to full power, the missile will transfer to internal power, meaning that it is fully independent. About that same time, uh, the silo door will begin to slide open, and when it slides far enough, it'll slide through some security radar beams up on the surface and set off an alarm. That gives us silo soft. Guidance Go means the internal guidance computer has completed critical checks of missile systems and reports that we are good to go. In a few seconds, we'll have main engine start. When the engine starts, we get a loud fire alarm because we have a big fire in the silo. From engine start, we build up thrust, pop the explosive hold down bolts, and off you go into the wild blue yonder. From, from, from turn key to lift off, is 58 seconds. It's important to understand that there is no oops switch. That once you turn the keys, you are committed. That is a process that cannot be stopped. A lot of guys like to describe it as like pulling the trigger on a gun. Once you've done that, you cannot stop the bullet. So from here to the target is nominally 35 minutes, approximately 6,300 miles away, or about 10,000 kilometers, uh, somewhere in the former Soviet Union uh, in 35 minutes. Uh, the bomb will detonate and destroy whatever target it was aimed at. Targets are classified. They were unknown to the crew back in the day. They remain classified even now. Uh, and that is the basic mission of Titan II.